Welcome to my channel, Outside the Levees. I'm Jared Serenay, and today I'm going camping at the end of the world in Venice, Louisiana. We had a big group of guys all hanging out at the end of the Mississippi River, getting into all the hunting and fishing activities Venice has to offer. Now let's get it started. All right, here it is, the first stop, crossing the Mississippi River. So I live on the east side of the river. I'm crossing it here to west to head down to Venice, the promised land. Got the boat all loaded up, firewood, groceries, hunting gear, P-Rogs. We're gonna be camping, cooking, hunting, and probably doing some fishing too. All right, I'm eager to get down there, put the boat in, and head to the campground. Here we are. Don't know how I made it here. Don't know how I didn't notice that the boat was riding low to say the least and just about to lose all of its support. Ah, oh boy. It's been that kind of season so far. Everything I have is breaking. My camera broke, the mud boat broke, now this trailer broke. When does it end? I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna come back early on Friday and deal with it. <sighs> Man, dude, it just doesn't end. Doesn't end. All right, here we are. After all the bull crap, a broken camera, ordered a new one, got it overnighted, didn't arrive in time. So using this camera that not exactly what I wanted broken trailer broken mud boot we're finally here I know it don't look like much but watch when we get up there and you gotta realize this is in the literal middle of nowhere so here's the little kitchen area got a fryer a rocket pot, gas burner, no table, and all the good ones you would ever want to eat. And look, I'm out of my feelings. I was butthurt about the trailer, okay? Sounds like Boat Stuff is going to step up and get it done. Thank God for Boat Stuff. We really appreciate that. So now I'm here. Me and Ray got our tent set up, got my little air mattress set up so I could cozy in, and we're going hunting in the morning. But for now, I'm gonna enjoy some grub. These LEDs are messing up my thing, bro. Yeah, yeah like the shutter covered? speed has to match. Uh, let's see what we got. Woo! I found some sausage patties. Let's see what that's all about. We ate all the fries. There's a few left. In Louisiana, this is our little pride and joy bread that we have, bunny bread. We love us some bunny. All right, so that's what I'm going with on mine, a little mayo mustard, pickle onion. All right, I want to formally introduce one of my best good friends. First time on the show, Uncle Ricky. What's up? He got, you know, like at birth, they might have named him Ray, but we don't play by them rules too much. How he got the name Uncle Ricky? I don't really know, but we call him Uncle Rick. So if you hear me talking about Unc on this trip, that's Unc right there. My brother Jerry. You might call him Jerry, but we call him Brother Jerry. Same reason, when nobody really knows. Yeah, y'all hadn't heard that yet on this show, but they do call me Brother Jerry from time to time. Uh, we're gonna try to find some trout. We, we definitely, yeah. Representing on the t-shirt. We definitely gonna catch some redfish, some bass, and we're gonna run catfish lines. It's been a rough evening. Y'all see me have my little breakdown at the trailer. So let me enjoy this meal. All right, here's the campground in the daylight. We got it in the dark last night so y'all didn't get to see it. Beautiful little campground though. Like I said, we're about 16 miles or so south of Venice, the last town on this peninsula leading to the Gulf. 
part of the Mississippi River system. Yep. Yep. What's up, man? What's up? Man? How's it going? Good so, morning, brother. Good morning. We messed up and forgot the coffee maker. <laughs> yes. Somebody <laughs> forgot it. Got it. You know us. We, we got to have our coffee. That's right. So we That's come right. up with a little system here. Check this out. Yeah, so we had to make us a little way to make coffee. Check out how they're doing it. We're gonna do I it can't like believe this. somebody forgot the coffee maker. Yeah, well, you know, you know how that goes. But look, we got it, Bubba and Wally. I'm going to put this like this. Put that there. That's going to hold the filter nice for you. There you go. Put two holes in here. Couple drain holes. Yep. Community coffee there, man. That's all we drink. That's huh? it. That's it. Not we're not sponsored by community, but <laughs> if y'all are interested, <laughs> that door is open, okay? <laughs> there you can go. All right, so look, there's the little setup. Table there, boy. Take care of you right there. All right, got some hot water that we dripping. Oh, look man. at that beautiful cup of coffee. Got your cup, mm, mm, mm. You can walk from the campground to go catch some fish. Let's go take a look. What's up, man? Yeah, hey, What's your name? Nick. I'm Jared. Jared Nick. I'm, I'm, I'll be the aggravating guy with the camera on this trip. Um, I heard there was some fish to be caught over here. Yeah, I got a little bass this morning. A little bassy bass? Yeah. Oh, check that out. Nice. I what you caught him on? A rattle trap. Oh, cool. All right, I got my rod here. Cook was ready. You catch a fish. All right, good way to start the morning. Cast a little line here. Good God. Jesus Christ, right? <laughs> what? Y'all missed it. I wasn't filming, but there was a spray of bait right here, which typically means the kind of fish we want to catch is chasing bait right there. That's it. That ain't no one love you. Got one. <laughs> Beautiful one. day out here in Venice. There you go. Huh? He's pretty, ain't he? Uh huh. Show him what you got. Look at that. Right there. There you go. Yeah. Beautiful. Right Beautiful. Right Beautiful. Him up. What we got going on, you can see there's a pipe here, and it runs under this ridge and goes out to the canal here. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. Oh, oh, fellas, oh, fellas! Oh, oh. You didn't get down on film, huh? What a bummer! So as you can see, the pipe feeds this reservoir pond. So as the water comes through on the tide, fish stage up here and catch the bait coming out. So a smart person would say, I'm a fish right here by the pipe. And these are smart yep. people. Yep. And they catch it. There he is, Bubba! Hold it! Man, call this shot. Yeah, he is. He called this shot. You got the hot end for sure. I might be too deep. Man, I'm gonna have to pass you this Now, if you've watched this channel before and you see how we are at camp, you know food is probably the biggest reason we come. We've already been discussing dinner. Breakfast is just getting started. Yeah. Good around here. Good job, boy. Alright, right, so the pancake. Take a little pancake. A little bacon in the pancake. Alright, appreciate that. I got to eat up good. We got a long day looking for ducks. I'm waiting on my Georgia crew. They're launching here pretty soon. When they get here, we're going to look for them. We spent the entire rest of the day riding around looking for a group of ducks to hunt, but there wasn't much to be found. It doesn't make a lot of sense considering how much ducks really love to be in Venice, but looking at the way my season has gone so far, it was par for the course. Well, I'll be honest, uh, we've looked around all day, have not seen very many ducks at all. Um, we've been running around all afternoon, probably counted 10 ducks total. 
So, not looking good. But we're gonna go back, enjoy a campfire, some good food. Cut up a little bit. What we got going tonight, Big Lane? What's up, bro? What we got going? A little corn, fried fish, some, corn. some onion rings, and some crackers. Actually, it's white trout. White, white trout. trout. That's all we can get. And you realize that's a full size triple fryer at a campground that is only accessible by boats. You gotta give these boys some props. That's dedication right there. Hey, Mike! Seen a weird thing on that boat, bro. What you got? Fried on um, what that is? Pickle soap? Catfish. Pickle marinated catfish. <laughs> Pickle, what? Come on, come on. Something we heard about. Pickle marinated catfish. We're going to give it a try. Alright, so, so what did you do? Just marinate it in pickle juice. Come on, how long? About 10 minutes. Wow. I never heard of that one. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to see. I smell it. Alright, so if you've ever heard of pickled marinated catfish, Please say something in the comments because that's completely new to me. We'll see. It'll probably be all right. If you can look around, you know these boys that don't mess around with food. So I think we're going to be good. There you go. What is that? 25 pounds of cracklings. Pork belly. Pork belly is running down in pork fat. 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. All right, so they're throwing a the cast net right now. We're trying to catch bait to go bait the trot lines. We got trot lines out right now. They've already been set, but they they're sitting out there with no bait on them. So we're catching some mullet. Whatever happens to open the net, chop it up, use it as bait. Now these trot lines, I heard they catch some pretty big catfish. So this is a critically important part to get the bait for the trot line. Yeah, safety, safety first gears. down here, you know. Absolutely. Yeah, we're, we're very safety oriented. Safety first. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> go ahead, Cap. <laughs> now, as the producer of this fine, well established show, I feel like it's, you know, my job to make sure everything is safe. It goes according to plan, and there's nothing that well, shouldn't be done on the boat. Like that, so, trust me, I'll I'll be strict on these guys. Boy, mama gave me that. Bro. What you got there, bro? We're getting a little cut ready. A little fresh cut mullet. What you gonna catch with that? We hope catfish. Well, we get redfish. We get gallfish. Right here, we got. 30 inches, 90 pound. You really need 120, but we couldn't find it. That's a 90 pound coated wire. Got the swivel, I forgot what size that is. But it fits in between here. When you're putting them on, it's gotta go right in between that slot. So you be able to string it all the way down. And on this end, we I put another swivel. Some people don't. And another either 5 to all the way to 13 size hook. I like to put just about 10, but these guys here <laughs> overindulge <laughs> in everything. <I> know. <laughs> so they'll be as high as 20 of them on the line. Yeah. Where's that ball of string? Y'all have it? No, it's not. No. No. Yeah, it's just on. your regular line. Yeah, it's so that's nylon. Yeah, it's tarred nylon. And this will clip on it. 
like the clip comes out, you hook on that. Uh, you usually have clips it. right there so that it can't Sometimes slide down the line. You can put a crimp on each side of it to stop it from sliding down. But it, if you like me and you pull, you just put a little <laughs> loop in it as you're going, and that works the same way. Clip it back, show them how you clip it on there. And then you clip it on there. Beautiful. And it keeps the fish from running down to right. each other on the line. That's it. I didn't know you were in a helping mood tonight. Right, yeah, that's better. Lou had a lot simpler. Got this at a gas station in Lafayette. Alright, as we're baiting, we got something on the line. Oh my god. Yeah. Cat in the hole. Oh, oh what? <laughs> at least a 40 pounder in the box. You remember her album? I got homeroom teacher. <laughs> oh, that's his antennas. <laughs> that's like a phone home. And see, he's got them here and here. This is like for Verizon. <laughs> T Mobile. We got 5G, baby. <laughs> All right, well, as has been the case lately, the duck hunt didn't work out. It probably would have had the tide started coming up earlier. But hey, we're opportunists. Opportunity knocks. And we're going to check those trot lines that we set last night. So meat is meat at this point. Let's go see what we find. Oh, I'm thinking. Oh, oh, not too bad. Oh, oh. All right, we already got two that we see in. They're not small either. All right, so remember I was saying last night how all the species mix together down here? We got a prime example of that. We just caught two big blue cats. Now watch. Who it is. Up to the party. All right, the second big redfish broke off, and there was a catfish right after that. And we're gonna go ahead and release these redfish because this is not a uh, approved method of catch. But they'll be fine. They, they were just on the line for a little while last night. They'll be okay. Look, that's a love, uh, oh. 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 Look at that. It's a valentine. Hey, it's a hog. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna put him that's back. That's for you, Lindsay. That was not, you cannot legally catch redfish. There he goes, see, he's fine. Not too bad at all. Not a bad run at all. If you keep them damn redfish off, baby. Yeah. I'm, I'm having a feeling the next line will have a lot more. <laughs> a lot more. All right, line number two. We already see a big red. We got to talk about a motor, huh? Nope. Still got bait on these. All right, so no keepers on the last line, but uh, this is the one that was wearing Mike out last night with a few extra hooks on it. So number one. Oh. And number oh. two. Money, baby. That's a good sign. 
two for two. Oh no! No! Hey, that there. was pretty good so far. But guess who's back? He's not happy either. He got some spots on this one. All right, there it is, some Venice trot lining. At least 100 pounds of meat there, so. I'd call that productive. All right, well that's gonna wrap up this year's camping trip down to Venice. Couldn't get on any ducks. There wasn't really a lot of ducks around, but there's always something to do down here. We had a good time, a lot of laughs, ate plenty of good food, and loaded up on catfish. So if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe this is the time of year where all good things happen and we got a lot of good videos coming out. I don't want you to miss them. And if you want to, go ahead and click the notifications bell down below so you get a ping every time I put out a new video. Appreciate everyone's support and we'll see y'all soon.